We have so much to talk about. We've got new music from Drake, a lawsuit for Jason Derulo. And why does Ed Sheeran have a grave in his backyard? We're breaking down all the top stories from this week in music with our friend from iHeartRadio, Shannon Burns is here. She Burns, Good morning. there she is. Good to see you. Good to see you. All over my Instagram feed, all weekend. Everyone. Everybody was at the Drake show in I Toronto. Know. There were two shows. Yep. Uh, what are you hearing? And I hear there was a special guest. There was. So 21 Savage came out, which is a very big deal because he has not, this was his first show outside of America. He's had some visa issues over the years, so he hasn't been able to leave, but he got those figured out right in time. He joined Drake on stage for his first international show ever, which is so incredible. J. Cole came out. It was just, we knew that Drake would pull it out yeah. for the Toronto shows, and that's exactly what he did. I had the most FOMO not being at either of those shows this weekend. And it seemed like he really got up close and personal with people. He was like walking through the crowd. Yeah, saying hi to everyone. It's yeah, really and Toronto, his fans, of course, gave him such a warm welcome being yeah. back in the city. So yeah, really cool. love to see that. Absolutely. And new music from Drake. I want to ask you about that. We know that his new album dropped Friday and he released that music video with his adorable son, Adonis, featured, uh, does a lot of the cover art. Let's take a listen. I'm used to seeing tears drop over enormous meals. The restaurant clears out, faint echoes of Lauren Hill. I say we got to talk about us. I feel like Jordan Peele. Could tell I'm getting under your okay, two questions. One, well, first of all, his son is adorable. So Secondly, cute. What, what's in his hair? Uh, those are just some hair clips. Drake's oh, yeah. sporting a new look. Got you know, it. he likes to mix things this up. Is, that's actually what I look like when I go home. Okay, <laughs> yeah. so what are people saying about the album? Yeah, it's getting mixed reviews. A lot of people are saying that it's just nothing really fresh and new that we've seen of Drake. I saw one review that said that Drake is, seems even a little tired of doing Drake, you know? <laughs> so it's kind of what we've seen in the past from him. But overall, I think it's a good album. I think the fans are loving it. Mm -hmm. Of course, he has Adonis doing the cover art, being in that video. Oh, he also really raps cute. on one of the songs. So that's I think good. he's really given the people exactly what they want. And that's his son Adonis. All right, love that. All right, moving on to Jason Derulo being sued. So what do yes. we know? Yeah, so there's an artist who is signed to Drake or to Jason Derulo's label who is now suing him, saying that Jason, as soon as they started working together, he started pressuring her and making sexual advances towards her, trying to give her a copious amount of drugs and alcohol. Um, so just a bad situation overall. So now she is suing. Jason Derulo for all of these things for sexual harassment and and yeah that's what's happening and Jason Derulo has denied all the allegations by the way yeah all right moving on to Ed Sheeran because he's revealed something really interesting Yes. So apparently he has a graveyard built on his property. Yes. Explain. So, so Ed Sheeran has a very big property. He likes to call it Sheeranville mm -hmm. um, because there's just so much going on there. So he built a chapel on his property and with it, he also installed some, some gravestones, some grave sites so that he can actually be buried uh, on his property, mm -hmm. which is also getting some mixed reviews because some people say, oh, that's such a great use of like space, of space <laughs> that you have. And if you have the money to do that, maybe other people would be interested as well. Other people are saying it's just like a little, little a bit creepy, you know? No, listen, so. like people plan ahead. We know people plan ahead. Exactly. I know people in my family who have planned ahead. It's expensive, it right? It is expensive, and you want to, and you know what else? It's taking the onus off all of the people that are left behind. Exactly. So they don't have to make the decisions for you. Yeah. I just wonder about resale value of the property. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering as so, well. Yes. So I guess he's planning on keeping that property in the family for a long time. Well, see, and this is what I think. People with a lot of money like that, that have these huge estates, there's no way that he's um, putting a graveyard in and not right. making sure that there's money there for hundreds and hundreds of years That's true. for that property to maintain its cemetery. Yeah, mm. absolutely. So. Fascinating stuff, Shannon. There you go. <laughs> All right, Shannon, always good to see you. Thanks always so much good to for see stopping you. by. Thanks so much. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.